Hi guys, so sorry it's a bit zoomed in. That um this is gonna be a requested tutorial in a video I uploaded, I don't know, I think it was yesterday. Someone requested a look and a tutorial on the look I was wearing, so here it is. Um it's basically using the eyes are all to do with this Claire's eyeshadow palette. I know like pretty much every tutorial I do just uses one palette, but I think that's like a good way. I am gonna do like if someone requests like just like a dark smoky eye, I'll use different ones and things. But this is what I used yesterday. It's just this Claire's palette. I don't even know which one it is. But basically it has the prettiest, prettiest colours. And they're so easy to do a look with. And also I'm trying out some new things in my face as well. So I've been using like highlighter and things. And yeah, if I just zoom in on my eye. It's just a really pretty look on the lips, so... Really pretty too, and then there's just a really natural cheek, and yeah. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off, I want to use my foundation. I would usually prime, but I'm not going to prime now because when I use my primer with this foundation, I can use it with my mousse foundation or my liquid foundation, but when I use it with the other foundation, it goes all weird. So I'm just going to use Mac Studio Fix. This is like a powder foundation, it's NW30. Some people do use this as like a powder, but I don't like to use it as a powder because, I don't know. I feel it's just okay as a powder. So I'm just, I, I use the sponge because I don't see a problem with it. But I might invest in a beauty blender to I like to put it over my eyelids because it also magnifies my eyelids. And then down my neck. Okay. So then I should take a brush, just a big brush, and just blend that out. Well, not blend it out, just make sure it's not like got any bits on it or anything. Okay, then for blush, I'm going to use my. Colour Trend Blush Stick in powder pink. It's basically just like it's a bit touched up. I'm just gonna dab it on my cheek. Going up a little bit. And then blending it out. Just creates a really nice glow on your cheeks. For highlighter, I'm going to be using my MUA Trio Eyeshadow in Innocence. Um, and I know this is eyeshadow, but this pearly white colour is a really nice highlight, so I'm just going to get it on my finger. And then brush this on as a highlight, just putting it on at the moment. I really like this as a highlight. So I'm just putting it on for the moment, then just taking a brush, a brush like this and blending it out. That also creates a really nice effect. Okay, so now to the eyes, so zoom in. Okay, so taking the Shimmering Eye and Lip Crayon by Barry M in just the only colour, I think this is the only colour to do it, and it's like a shiny pink colour. Um, I'm just going to put this all over my lid as a primer, and it also makes the colours look really nice. So just like that. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Now, taking the palette, I'm going to take oh, the
pearly brownie colour. And for this whole eye look, I'm going to use the Ruby and Miller medium eye brush. I really like this. So I'm just going to take that and just apply it all over the top of the pink base. Okay, so it's like that. And then, for the outer corner colour, I'm going to get this pink colour and mix it with this darker pink colour, so these two. Um, so I'm just going to get the light pink colour first and then get a little bit of the dark pink. Then read it back in the light pink okay, So I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner. Just apply it for, fir for at first. Okay, so when you applied it, we are going to use a different brush to blend this in. Just a big fluffy brush will do. And you want to blend it inwards. Okay, so then it blends in. And just like, brush your brush off. Then, for the crease, I'm going to take this dark matte brown. This one here. And just with the Ruby and Millie brush, just get a bit on there and then start by going like this and then go down and then up and then circular motions in like the hollows of your eye where you can go like that circular motions, sort of like raise your eyebrows and then And basically you just get that really nice effect um, and then just keep going at it till you get the sort of colour you want. Okay, so it's sort of like the cat eye effect thing going on. And the other eye. This is a really easy look to do that won't cost you a lot of money. Okay. So there's that. Now I just like to just take a powder brush and just brush away and it's under the eye. Here it takes your highlighter. I like to use a different brush highlighter as well. So to use like an angled brush highlighter. Um, and the colour I'm going to be taking is like it's not a white, it's like a sort of brownie white, it's not really bright white, so under the brow, blend it in a minute, and under the brow, in the inner tear duct, right then just taking the big fluffy brush again, just blend that in. Okay, so for eyeshadow, now for the eyeliner, I'm going to take the Colour Trend Casual Stick in black and violet. I'm going to use the black side and just line like halfway down the waterline. Both eyes. And then just create a little wing. You don't want to go too far out, you want to sort of create a little wing. Put this side, I need a tiny little one. Okay, so for mascara, I'm going to use the Rimmel London Scandalize Mascara. Just like a massive brush. I'm going to coat this on my top and bottom lashes. Okay. So that's all for like the eyes. 
Now for the lips, you want to go for something not too like in your face, so once to sort of in the So I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna find it. This is quite a weird combination, but yeah, it's basically. I really like this look. It's the a new lipstick by Avon in Berry Bloom, which is actually a really dark colour. Um, with this like purple shimmer lip gloss from Avon over the top. This is Avon Glazewear Sparkle, Avon, Avon Glazewear Dazzle in Shimmer. Basically with this lipstick, all you want to do is dot it on your bottom lip. And blend it in. It sort of is just like an enhanced normal lip colour. Um, that has a few gold shimmers in it. Then you want to apply the lip gloss over the top. This creates like a really pretty look. Apply it in the middle of your lips first. It creates like a really pretty, pretty colour. And it does look really nice with the whole look. So, yeah guys, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any other requests for any other tutorials, comment them below and I'll see you all later. Bye.